going on YouTube? Gabriel Say, aka The Truth, checking in with Q&A number two. All right, so you guys liked the Q&A last week, so here's another one. Before I get started, a couple points I wanna just um, go over. Pre-orders for the t-shirts, the limited edition ones have stopped, so they are in production. Um, getting made now so you'll all get an individual email letting you know exactly when you should be getting them. Um, second of all, the new schedule for the channel. Now I'm quite excited about this, I'm not sure if you've noticed I've been getting a lot of um, footage up quite regularly so Mondays is going to be a tutorial, Tuesday is going to be what I call machine mode workout highlights so these are highlights for my workouts of any big lifts that I've had any PRs or anything that I feel really successful in. Wednesdays Q&A. Thursdays is going to be either the raw series or it will be a vlog just going through like my lifts during the week. Um, Friday is going to be left free for like collabs and stuff like that um, anything else that I want to throw in any topics I want to talk about Saturday will be a full day of eating and then Sunday will be access all areas so um, whatever goal I'm working towards this time is the Arnold Classic um, the next series will be the shredded for body power so that will be that segment so that's the new schedule for the channel thirdly for these Q&A's we're gonna start a little hashtag game so if you've got a question I want you to tweet me, so Twitter across the bottom again, and I want you to hashtag for the topic for next week it's going to be on food. So I want you to hashtag fearless meals. So I'll put the hashtag across the screen, but that's fearless meals. So that's how we're going to be doing the Q&As. They're always going to they're going to be topic based. If you have a topic that you're interested in, or there's a collective topic, um, I'll let you know but next week's one is fearless meals so any food related questions that you have okay so that out of the way let's get cracking with the questions all right so first one is it's from Luke Edwards and he tweeted me in hashtag fearless lift thank you very much my chest is lagging bad what would you say I do to improve it Squat, deadlift and shoulders are improving weekly. Check out the video that I've got linked right here. My six top tips on how to build a bigger chest. It's all about form. Don't worry about the weight. Use these tips in this video and let me know in six weeks how you get on. See this, let me know what the difference is. It's a nice and short, but I've already got that covered. This one's from Bahadir Emil. Great video, I see a major issue and it really bothers me. I've developed a chest, but when I wear a t-shirt, it looks like I have man boobs, thanks to my nipples. And it's not the problem that I have high body fat because I'm sitting around 10 to 12%. I even went down to 8%, but the problem was still there. Is there anything I can do about this? It really makes me feel uncomfortable when wearing a regular shirt without print on the chest. The problem here is something called um, Gyno, gy, gynocomastia, I might have butchered that, but um, this is just puffiness of the nipple. To be honest, um, if you're quite lean, it's not a problem with body fat, it's just a um, glandular um, problem in that area, which it can be removed by a surgery, it can be a little bit expensive, but that's probably the best way to get go around it. Okay. Next question is from To You Flame. Hey, I've been training for 12 months now and I do 12 sets of body part, each body part I hit twice a week and four days of cardio 30 minutes after weights. I count my macros to up 2000 calories, 150 grams of carbs, which are from sweet potato and burning, but the fat is coming off very slowly. What am I doing wrong? I'm fat, so I think the fat would come off quicker over 300 pounds. Thanks for your answer. All right, so it might be just ratios. Protein, carbs, and fats, the ratios aren't agreeing with you, so you, you might need to play around with that. 
it could be that your calories are too low. So in the sense, in if you're over 300 pounds, essentially you could be, you know, almost not starving yourself, but under eating, which can have a neg neg uh, negative effect. So first of all, play around with the ratios and then maybe increase the food. Maybe you need more food to be able to work out harder and lift more weights and then burn more calories that way as opposed to restricting the calories so much. Okay, I hope that helps. Okay, this one's from Jaffa Cakes 13 You, sir, are very good. Thank you. Down to earth, down to earth, down to earth, humorous and helpful. Glad you've gained a hell of a lot of subs. Uh, got a question. My bench has plateaued for months now. I've tried different reps, sets, ranges, including shoulder press and tricep work. What should I do? Now, for this, it's more of a case of I've been through a plateau stage where I then had to do, you know, stuff like floor press, um, stuff starting from a static position. So it's maybe on a Smith machine, start um, have the rack. So it's maybe about four inches above your chest and work on the top half, maybe lower it. So it's from your chest, work on the um, bottom half. And what else did I do? A lot of press ups and just really working on time under tension. That's the other thing, key thing. Time under tension, come down really slow, press up really slow, but really focus on squeezing and focus more on that than getting the weight up. And you should start to see an increase and kind of try and break that plateau. Also eat more. That's my answer for pretty much everything, eat more. <laughs> okay, next question. Anonymous29, the teas look amazing. Thank you, hope you got one. Um, I've been doing strong lifts five by five and it's still early days. How long did it take you to see a real change or definition? Um, I took to the training quite quickly and um, I started seeing results fairly quickly. Not sure why, maybe just my genetics, but when I first started lifting within the first, say, year, I got up to just over 12 stone starting at just under 11 stone. So um, that first year for me was a huge growth spurt and then it started to slow down after that. Five by fives is something that I've been doing for a little while. So that was kind of like the basis of my training. So that did really help because it, it allowed me to get quite high up with the weights. And then I started working on hypertrophy and stuff. Um, so yeah, it was about, a year, a year to see really decent results. All right, so next question is from Scarface, LU1. What are your stats, height, weight, and body fat? And what area are you from? Okay, my height, I am 176, 177 centimeters. I think that's about 5'10". <coughs> Excuse me. Weight, currently I am 202 pounds. Um, off season, I was sitting around 218, 220. And body fat, haven't got a clue. I don't tend to measure body fat because calipers don't really do much. They're just used as a guideline. Best way to do it is to use one of those pods, you know, water displacement and all that crap, but that's expensive. I don't have that money. So um, if I'm looking at a rough ballpark figure at the moment, I'm probably sitting around seven, six, don't know. Um, I'm just pulling numbers out of the bag. Um, and what area am I from? I'm from South London. Yeah, South London, UK. Um, lived in South London my whole life. Was born in Reading though, go figure. Um, so yeah, thanks for your question. Okay, and then the next one is from Josh Love. I was meant to answer your question last week. That's my bad. So here it is. Your question is, I want to know what you think the best workout routine and if there's any particular food for really barking up the quads and calves. Um, I've done tons of front squats and deadlifts because I play rugby 
and apparently that's better than just doing basic leg extensions and leg curls because doing squats and deadlifts engages muscle groups not just a single muscle reducing the danger of me tearing those muscles when I play rugby because they work as muscle groups haha if you get what I'm saying yes I do um, just want to know if you have a, any like special routine or diet for really putting on mass and bulking up the legs there is no secret formula sorry to burst the bubble and I wish I had a different answer for you but there is no secret formula there is no special routine it is just grind and grind and grind and eat so many people in the gym constantly asking me um, how did I put on size how did I cut down how did I bulk all of, all of this and it all just comes down to constant work ethic you just need to really come out of your comfort zone and push barriers that haven't been pushed before it, like if you're doing say your program says 10 reps on squats and say you're doing um, three plates so that's 140 kilos I'm not sure what it is in pounds I put it across the screen but say three plates and you get to 10 but because your program says 10, you stop at 10, but you can actually do 12 or 13. Do the 12 or 13. Push your body to growth. If you're not pushing your body past that boundary, then it's never going to go past it. So always push yourself and get that mindset of, I want more, I want more, I want more. And then also with your food, nail it. You need, to, you need to really get to grips with it. Forget about supplements, forget about um, you know, protein, creatine, all that stuff. Scrap it, put it to one side, get your food right, and then it's, it'll be amazing. It's amazing how your transformation starts to accelerate once you nail the food and once you push those barriers in training. So there isn't, a specific thing and yes you're right it's best to do compound movements but also assist it with like leg extensions and stuff like that but there isn't a special program um, there are things that can specifically that people can write you a program to ensure that you're you know pushing your boundaries and but essentially it's down to you if you've got a well-rounded program that targets all areas of the legs, it's down to you to then push it to that next level and push those boundaries. So I hope that answered your question. If it didn't, just hit me up again. <laughs> um, but yeah, thanks for the support and yeah, hope it answered the question. Okay, next question is from Better Than, Av Better Than The Average One. I like these Q and A's. My question is, oh, thank you. My question is, training fasted is optimal in terms of. Is training fasted optimal in terms of building muscle? If not, what do you recommend to eat pre-workout? <sighs> this is down to personal preference. I'm not going to say one's bad, one's not. Some people, the Hodge twins, for example, they they love training fasted in the morning. They've got a good size on them. Um, me, I, I find I can struggle, I've done it before, but I struggle not to eat, so I just get something light in me, so um means I can sometimes eat between steak and oats and protein shake and still go and train. It's all down to personal preference, there isn't a right or wrong answer to be honest. Um, so I hope that answers your question, it's more, more about feeling for yourself what um, what works for you. If you've had a heavy meal the previous night, your chances are the energy is still going to carry over into the morning. If you've had quite a light meal, then you might want to get something like um, a protein and a fast acting carb, so maybe um, a protein shake, banana, a little bit of oats, if you get what I mean. Um, so yeah, hope that helps, hope that answers the question. Okay, next one. This one's from The Real Fire Ford. If you've heard about carb backloading, what are your opinions on it? After this show, 
I am going to try it. I'm going to try it for a couple weeks and I'm going to let you know what my moods are, what my feelings are and how I feel it's affecting my body. I can't comment on it because I haven't tried it and I don't want to give any misguided opinions. So the best way to do it is to try it and show you guys what happens. So stay tuned for that. Um, uh, next question is from Curtis McNally what do you think about carb cycling and if leg day falls on a no carb day would you train them on zero carbs this kind of falls under the same category as the previous, as the previous question um, about training fasted down to personal preference there isn't anything that says so, there's so much you can search the internet and it will just confuse the nuts out of you because you one thing will say train fasted and preserve muscle tissue the other one will say don't train fasted it will burn muscle tissue this one's saying always eat and it's just it's too much it's too much so let's switch off all computers let's try it try both try one for two weeks try the other for two weeks see how you feel see how you get on with it Essentially, it's all down to how you are. How I feel when I train a certain way isn't going to be the same way that you feel. It's, it's all personal preference. So, I hope that answers the question. Okay, and the final question is from Levi Noah. Sorry if I said the name wrong, but... Hey, Gabriel. I heard... People say it's not good to eat too many eggs in a day. However, I see a lot of bodybuilders eat tons of eggs because it does have a good source of protein. Could you give me your take on that and what is considered too much? Okay, big thing on eggs. Um, the thing with eggs is you you don't want to have too many of the yolks. That's that's where the that's where the problem lies. Egg whites are fine, it's just protein. There's no carbs, there's no, there's no fats, it's just protein. So there's no problem with that. The problem is where you have the saturated fats in the yolk. Saturated fats aren't bad, everything in moderation. You don't want to be having too much saturated fats, all from eggs and stuff like that. You can't have like 20 hard boiled eggs a day. That's a, a lot of saturated fats. So you... You know, if you're having, depended on your size, if you're having three, four, one, two, it, it's, it's not a problem. Just don't overdo it with the yolks. Have as many egg whites as you want. A lot of bodybuilders eat lots of egg whites because it's, it's fast, it's easy, it's cheap. Um, so I hope that answers the question. Don't go nuts. Don't eat too many yolks. My mum used to say that I'd turn yellow if I eat too many yolks. Still brown. All right, so <laughs> that concludes today's Q and A. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I hope you like the new schedule. Those for the limited edition T-shirts, you will receive emails very soon. And next week's Q and A is all about food. Any food-related questions that you have: keto, um, high carb, low carb, um, carb cycling all that kind of stuff let me know via twitter so my twitter shown across the bottom and hashtag fearless meals that's fearless meals and i will get those answered for you next week so don't forget to subscribe like comment share and until next time peace <laughs>